rainy season has definitely begun. I definitely had the Monday vibes yesterday. It's always kind of hard to get started on something from scratch, not knowing how it's going to turn out or... Yeah, it's, it's just hard. But today I'm going to start on vocals. So I need to get myself pumped because it's 9 o'clock a.m. and uh, I need to get the, get that. Doing vocal warm-ups in the living room I gotta start easy or my voice will break so the essential things I need for recording vocals are my water, microphone of course, lyrics, and headphones. I'd appreciate your input. As you can see from that time lapse there, uh, I work really like start, stop, start, stop, because I do one line at a time. Like, I do one line, stop it, make sure it's as good as I can get it, and then move on. Uh, it's two reasons for that. It's one, I'm a perfectionist. I wanted each line as good as I can get it. And also, I've never sung the song before. And uh, yeah, many of the lines in the song that you're hearing, it's my first take. So that's just the way I work. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Shit. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Better? Do on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and me, baby. Shit. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Better. So I'm gonna show how I'm layering vocals here. So this is my main track, and this is my double. So these are uh, the same singing, but just two different takes, but doing the same thing. And these are my harmony vocals, harmony in in this sign here because it's not always notes I'm singing but let's uh, listen a little bit love the kind you clean up with a mop and bucket like the last guy that comes up Egypt only God knows where we suck it Har so that's a harmony there like last guy that comes up Egypt only God knows where we suck it like the last guy that comes up Egypt only God knows where we suck it so one of the vocals is just rapping without any notes in it but um, but this uh, harmony part is doing something to make it more melodic like the last guy that comes up Egypt only God knows where we suck it hieroglyphics let me be specific I want to be down in your side so I like to just like punch in on 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 different words like glyphics specific down seas Hieroglyphics, let me be specific, I want to be down in your south city, but I got it. So for me, it's all about being on the rhythm as much as I can, like being really precise and having those harmony things just hitting the mark spot on. It makes it almost like a rhythm guitar, like... And I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to run through our live set again. I need to learn those goddamn lyrics. Uh, I'm, I mainly rehearse with these in-ears because I just want to get used to them because that's what we're using live. I got these uh, molds for, for it, but uh, they don't really fit. So I had a problem like last gig, they kept popping out of my left ear, always my left ear. So and maybe I'll go back to the ones that follows with these in-ears, the ones you can just squeeze together and fit in. They actually stays in, but I, I'm always like doing this during the gig, so I, I don't like that. I want to be able to like headbang and don't have to think about stuff falling out of my ears. Since I'm recording vocals today, I think I'm just gonna mainly just like lip sync the songs or just like whisper them because I don't want to blow out my voice 
doing a whole set of rehearsals and then tracking a song in there, uh, that's not good. Okay, so now I've rehearsed uh, and I had a little idea since I was using the shuriken with lots of different sounds in it. I'm gonna start on the solo bit on the song and I was thinking to use the sitar sound from uh, from the from this guitar and running through the Kemper through some weird ass effects like delay with harmonics and stuff and it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to double it with a, a normal guitar with a whammy bar because I like adding stuff and I like whammy bar. <laughs> Okay, so now I've uh, tracked the solo and it's time to put some egg on it. Because why not put some egg on it? I put these on 98% of my songs, especially on solo parts and verse things. Just to spice it up a little bit, put it pretty far down in the mix and just have something shaking in the background. Okay, I've had a little nap. I think that's everything for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna work on all the details. Maybe put some extra flavors in there. And then I have to mix it and master it. I have to make an outro, shoot the video, edit that all by Friday. So I think I have to say a little disclaimer here. Uh, I've got sent this for free, so you could call this sponsored content. Uh, it says roadie bass, but it should be the best one for all around tuning your guitar and basses. So let's test it out. So it's out of tune now. Let's see. Sounds in tune. Let's check it with a normal tuner. It was slightly off according to this, so let's try one more time. I'm a little unsure about this. Uh, I wouldn't use it in studio where we need to be like hyper precisely tuned, but uh, in a noisy environment, or if you're a, a beginner guitarist, because I remember buying my first guitar and the first time it went out of tune, I thought it was broken. So with this, you can just put this on and it will do everything automatically for you and you don't have to think about it. But if you have been playing guitar for a while, you're gonna tune it faster with one of these because it's, it's kind of clunky also using it. But I really like the technology, so my review would be five out of 10. 
Okay, I'm gonna edit this video and uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.